Hi there, I'm Nancy and today I'm going to talk to you about how to finish an English paper piece quilt. How to do the edge, that is. Because many people make these beautiful hexagon quilts and they don't finish them because they don't know how. Now, if we take, for example, a hexagon quilt, I've done a little patch here, like this. The simplest method, assuming that this was uh, um, perhaps already quilted, is you take your ruler and you line it up and your artery cutter and you go, you go for it. Personally, I can't do that, but that's a perfectly adequate way of finishing a paper piece quilt, although not in my book. What I like to do is, and now it comes, you're gonna dread this, applique the edge onto a bit of fabric. Sounds worse than it is, it's really quite simple. The important thing when you do this is to leave your paper pieces in the very edge of the quilt. So you can see here in the center all the paper pieces have been removed and only on the outside have I left them in. I do this because it gives me a nice edge to work with for the applique stage. And then you would get your border fabric and you just cut a strip of your border fabric, however wide you want to have your border, but be generous, add a half inch or a whole inch even uh, to that. Then you take your ruler. So for this project here, for example, you just sort of measure this overhang bit. Sorry, don't know if the camera can pick that up. I'll just move this out of the way. So you just really want to see how much of an overhang do I need here along to make sure that I cover my paper pieces with the backing, with the back of the border strip. Not sure if I made sense there, but. So that was at least one inch. So if I then mark a line along my edge here, and you can use a pencil for that. Mind you, you might have trouble washing that out. So uh, another type of fabric marker, non-permanent, preferably will work fine. So we're using the clover white marker pen here. You just draw a line along your edge, like that. This takes a moment to appear. Make sure you iron your fabric first, because once you iron it, the pen will disappear again, which would be uh, a disadvantage. So I'm just gonna lay it out like that. So I can see it appearing here. I'm not sure the camera can pick it up. And then I would take my paper piece bit and I would just butt up the edge to that line. Now I don't want to stitch this one on, so I'm just gonna put it away. Um, but I do actually have a piece here, which is a line of hexagons, which I want to stitch onto there. 